whale and dolphin entanglement in creel fishing line on the seabed is a serious problem which can lead to injury and even death. The Reducing Entanglements project on Scotland's west coast is trying to find out what changes can be made to help protect marine life from becoming tangled in creel fishing lines. So bycatch and entanglement, globally, it's the biggest welfare and conservation threat to whales and dolphins and sharks. And it's been very difficult to solve historically. We estimated that per year, 30 minke whales, 30 basking sharks and six humpbacked whales become entangled in creel gear. So what we've been doing in this project is we've been working with 15 fishermen in the inshore area around the east of Skye and we've been asking them to swap the floating rope that they have been using for sinking rope. The rope looks completely the same as the rope they have been using but it's slightly weighted and so it lies on the seabed. So we've got about 60 fleets in the trial, 15 fishermen and every time they haul a fleet, so every time they pull a fleet in and take the catch out of the fleet they let me know how it's gone. When they've hauled it, is the rope all right? Has it handled all right? Have they had any problems? So basically the creels are going to be on the seabed and there's going to be creels every few metres and they need connected together with a ground line. This gets tied to the creel and then this in turn would be attached to the ground line and with buoyant rope this would then form this series of arches which is what we try to eliminate, but because this is negatively important, what this will all lie in the seabed. So the Nature Restoration Fund came at an absolutely ideal time for us because we had worked out what the problem was and we wanted to be able to move quite quickly to be able to look at solutions that might reduce that entanglement. So the money from this fund was absolutely ideally placed to enable us to do that. We've got all this amazing wealth of expertise here with the inshore fisheries and that's in a large part contributed to why this project has been so really successful. But it's also been great in terms of the, the partnerships and the collaborations that we've formed, it's been really positive. What we're really trialling here is whether or not it's practical for fishermen to use the rope and our experience of this has been, been really good so far. The difference between the ropes is that one floats and one sinks and, and the, the, the reason that the sinking rope can prevent an entanglement is if you think about the floating rope, the rope's trying to reach up for the surface so it sits three-dimensionally up off the seabed. Sometimes an arch is up to three to five metres but when you use negatively buoyant or sinking rope, the rope tends to lie on the seabed. Those arches don't exist and that mechanism from, for entanglement just ceases to exist. So the experiences we've had in the trial so far are that the fishermen have, have been quite happy using the rope, it's not been too heavy, it's not snagged too much. Another thing that we did look at as part of this trial is whether or not the rope abrades the seabed. Our experience from our surveys are that this rope isn't scouring the seabed at all. The trial's been really successful. There haven't been any entanglements during the trial. The most important thing is that the fishermen are able to fish with this rope without it really causing them any disruption to their normal fishing practices and that's a huge win. So the next stage is obviously seeing if we can replicate the kind of success that we've had here around different areas of Scotland and so that we can reduce the risk of entanglement to whales and basking sharks in all areas around Scotland with what is a very simple and easy solution that has been enabled by the Nature Restoration Fund project.